introverts are best at doing. There's somewhat of a negative stereotype around introverts. People say that they're too quiet to have fun or be social. Well, that is a blatant lie. Just because introverts don't feel comfortable walking into a room full of strangers or making friends with everyone in a room doesn't mean they don't like to be fun or social. Introverts have some of the best personality traits they just usually keep to themselves. Here are just some of the things introverts are great at doing. Number one, having thought-provoking conversations. Introverts don't like small talk. The whole, how are you? Can you believe this weather? Did you see the game last night? Chit-chat is worthless. Due to their disdain for the idle chatter, they're seen by most as unsociable. And this is not the case. Introverts want to get straight down to the meat of things. They want to hear your deepest thoughts, your desires and dreams. None of that, I'm fine, how are you, talk. Introverts know that you have a story to tell and they want to hear it. They want to know your opinions and questions and answers to questions that are infrequently spoken about because of their deep topics. Introverts have a therapist, guidance counselor mentality and charisma, causing us to make you feel more comfortable with speaking your mind and soul. This is good for everyone around. Introverts get the satisfaction of having a meaningful conversation with someone without having to fill the empty space with chit-chat, and you get a part-time therapist, someone who will really listen to you and your thoughts. Number two, being effective salespeople. I know what you're thinking. What? What in the world? An introvert excels at a profession that requires constant vis-a-vis -vis interaction? Yes, introverts pay attention, care, and are comfortable in familiar situations so they can be confident in their daily jobs even as salespeople. Being highly cognitive people, introverts take time to fully understand their product, customer, and outcomes. From this, introverts are highly prepared for any unexpected events such as objections, crankiness, and touchy questions. They might not be happy with it, but they can handle it effectively nonetheless. Number three, taking care of animals. Introverts love to be swaddled in love and affection by those close to them, especially when it's our furry friends. So they do enjoy to return the favor. Introverts are professionals at taking care of animals, especially when they do it alone. You need a dog sitter? No problem. You need someone to take care of your cat while you're away? Enough said. Introverts have no problem snuggling up next to a dog, cat, bunny, or goldfish and spending a nice day together. They enjoy the company of animals more than humans in most situations. They sympathize with animals. Introverts can calm a troubled pet since they are experienced with calming their own troubled minds. They have a lot of energy and want to have fun, eat, and get their belly rubbed, but when all is said and done, they need their rest. Same, dog. Same. 4. Being observant. Introverts aren't quiet without a purpose. They observe. While you're over there talking about the latest fad or your weird dream last night, they're listening and watching. They see the way your forehead wrinkles when your grandpa's mentioned, and they notice when there's a new painting hanging up in the office. Introverts spend time watching and memorizing their surroundings and environments so they feel comfortable enough to interact with them. Who would jump into the darkness without a flashlight? Introverts prefer to analyze their surroundings rather than focus on biases so that when they finally voice out their misgivings, these should be taken seriously. Introverts are the first to notice anything slightly out of the ordinary, and they're also the ones to be the devil's advocate and notice flaws in ideas and concepts. Introverts usually spend a lot of time thinking about the worst possible situation and how to get out of it, so trust them, they know what they're talking about. 5. Being great leaders. As are many of these points, this one is notably surprising. How can someone who dislikes abundant social interaction be a great leader when a leader's job is to lead others? A recent poll shows that not all successful leaders are extroverts. Outgoing individuals use their charisma and spunk to command attention and get things done, while reserved bosses lay low and observe their underlings and always know what's best for them, the person, and the situation. They never speak just to be heard or because they're the boss. They speak to assist and help others because introverts imagine themselves in quite every situation, just to be prepared. They are careful and attentive, humble and prepared, and they are comfortable working alone, showing that good leadership isn't always flashy. So if you ever have a boss that is more on the shy or reserved side, this doesn't mean that he or she dislikes you or thinks they're better than you. It could be that they're an introvert as well and don't have anything to say about your performance since you're doing a good job without them. 6. Being Great Workers Alongside being great leaders, 
Introverts also know very well when to take a step back and get the work done. They're attentive, wholehearted, determined, and motivated to always do their very best. Since introverts usually don't use their words or quick wit to talk them out of sticky situations, they use their intellectual prowess to provide an answer rather than an excuse. Hand them an extended project, let them work alone in a comfortable environment, and you'll get incredible results. Introverts need little supervision because they're always triple-checking themselves, seeing the flaws in everything and preparing every argument that could be made against their work, and working around it to avoid said confrontation. These qualities make them effective followers as well, being dedicated to the completion of their responsibility, provided their solitude is undisturbed. 7. Listening to your troubles. Have you ever needed to vent, confided in a close friend, and felt like they weren't really even listening to you? That's the opposite of an introvert. Since introverts know how hard it is for them to express their emotions verbally, if a loved one expresses feelings to them, they will listen hard and well. Introverts are perfect for when you need a shoulder to cry on or just someone to hear your story. As said earlier, introverts hate small talk. So if you go straight to the meaty deep talk, they'll provide an impeccable set of ears and even some incredible advice for you to follow. Introverts are sensitive to pain, their own and others. They can tell when you're really upset or when you need to get something off your chest. If a reserved friend asks you if everything's alright, there's no need to hide behind another I'm fine, I'm just tired. Go ahead and tell them what's bothering you. There's no better support than that of an introverted friend. 8. Counseling In addition to listening, introverts excel at helping you cope with your worries. They can easily read people while others are just listening, and introvert analyzes and interprets the speaker's thoughts, actions, choice of words, and preconceptions. They can notice little body expressions you don't even realize you're doing. They can help you pin down exactly what's bothering you and even suggest how to resolve it. Unfortunately, many introverts are familiar with pain and suffering, so they're quite experienced on how to alleviate any emotional pain you're going through. Furthermore, calming someone down isn't all about talking. It's about understanding and making deep relationships built on trust. Being empathetic is what introverts do. Having someone there, listening and supporting you in a time of need, is just as comforting as a nice warm hug, which many introverts may often initiate in moments like these. 9. Thinking before acting. Introverts don't speak quite often, so when they do, every single word was chosen very carefully ahead of time. Sometimes, due to this, introverts may take a while to get a sentence out, since they're mentally preparing and rehearsing each word before they say it. Since introverts take a while to express themselves, Many extroverts just ignore them and talk over them. This can cause introverts to become even more shy so that they don't get ignored again, as this is traumatic and embarrassing. So if your introverted friend speaks up, pay close attention because what he or she has to say is probably important. 10. Knowing themselves. We all know that quiet persons have the loudest minds. Introverts spend a lot of time in their own heads. From this, they know themselves pretty well, Aside from being silent critics, introverts are constantly having inner monologues, evaluating themselves and their choices in everyday situations. Thus, they rarely have any existential crises and can easily figure out their strengths and weaknesses. They know who they are, what they want, and what is important to them. They might just not tell you all of that information. You could say that they're silent, but confident. 11. Being a source of wisdom. By nature, introverts love information, learning, and discovering new things. They might not be the first to go mountain climbing, but they'll definitely be in awe over a new NASA discovery. Their minds are constantly urging for more facts and things to ponder over in the silence of their daily lives. Not only that, but they use these interesting facts and information to share with others when the time is relevant. So you never know when your small-voiced friend might know the exact answer to your problems after reading about a similar situation months ago. 12. Being a loyal friend. Introvert friends will not betray you. They have no reason to. They would never talk about you behind your back or lie to you in a harmful way. Every secret, desire, or dream you've ever shared with them will always be safe whether or not the friendship lasts. Introverts cherish friendships and, no matter the circumstances, would never betray someone who once confided in them. They value relationships and try hard to keep them, which makes them some of the best friends you will ever have. Introverts have quite a lot of skills in those quiet little bodies. If you're an extrovert, don't be hesitant to communicate with silent peers. 
you'll be surprised at what they're capable of. And if you're an introvert, be proud. You have nothing to feel inferior about since behind that shyness lies a storm.